SAPS says they have about 4,000 wrongful arrest, which you are looking at amount or the, the claims they're on because of 4,000 wrongful arrest, they claim they're on amount to 2 billion in claims. And I can tell you this, and I'll tell you for sure, this is not a true reflection of the situation. There are people who got, who got arrested wrongfully, so who just didn't know what to do after they got arrested. So there are many of those uh, who are not part and parcel of the stats. Nonetheless, on the other hand, Tswane Mayor has written to Ramaphosa, telling Ramaphosa, you know what, uh, you guys will regret... Um, uh, look, you'll regret uh, bringing, uh, look, uh, uh, if you remove me, my, my removal will bring significant change in a GNU. In other words, the GNU will collapse if you remove me as a mayor. You can't do that. You cannot remove me as a mayor. <laughs> DA. DA. Hi. We are the right people to cough in. If you remove us, hi, Bo, the country won't function without us. Yeah, but Ah, told you. Told you. Togolo. Apa ma belak. Togolo. Listen to this one. Listen to this one. Let me share this a bit. Tane Mayor and DA member uh, the Lokwan Silas Brink has cautioned President Ramaphosa party, the ANC, about removing him as a capital city mayor. The party table a motion of no confidence against uh, the Tane Mayor scheduled for 26th of September, which I think it gives him more time to uh it gives him more time to plan and you know what I'm saying. So yeah, I will come back to that one. Another interesting one is this one. Um, SAPA faces more than 4,000 claim of wrongful arrest, uh, costing, costing to 2 billion in settlement civil cases. Razor Simzansi has now called for accountability. How many people who got arrested, who probably didn't even claim for their arrest. Because some of them really, they are criminals. Yes, they got wrongfully arrested, but they are criminals. So they don't even want to claim because it will bring them closer to the police and they don't want that. So they want to play as far as possible from police. I'm just saying, I'm just saying in general, some people who got wrongfully arrested are sitting somewhere. Um, they... They... Don't even know what to do after that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm saying the 4,000 that we're being told is just it's too little. But, we'll proceed. And I'm going to share with you what I'm about to do now. But before I can do so, this is what you need to do. Here, if you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge. And that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more. And also, guys, want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay now let's start here again guys where do we start gnu will collapse but i will end with that one uh this was revealed by police minister Senzo Mkono in response to a written 
parliamentary question from Arise Mzans in Kunu disclosed that 4,135 wrongful arrests has been registered, averaging around 11 incidents each day. <laughs> so, each day, 11 people are wrongfully arrested. Each day. It's very, this stat is very important. Each day, each day, 11 people are wrongfully arrested. The claims associated with these arrests total uh, to 2 billion, 2.2 2 billion, 2 .2 billion, right? While the minister noted that this figure does not necessarily represent the final amount to be paid to the claimants. He did not provide further details on the reasons behind the arrest of potential. Uh, right. Rising Zanzi National Assembly caucus. Express concerns of these figures, pointing out that wrongful arrest damage public trust in the police. That's another interesting point. Um, it, it, it's, a, it's a fair, 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 fair point. But let's proceed. I will raise this matter with the minister of national minister and national commissioner general Fanima Semula when they when when they next appear before the portfolio committee on police uh, look on police so that the specific cases can be referred to to uh, ascertain whether wrongful arrests are problem within the police and why they happen and for a breakdown of claim paid out oh wrongful arrest erodes the trust between the public and the police it is therefore important to understand this phenomenon in full in full but putting the matter on the portfolio's committee agenda for it to intervene when necessary I thought you need to hear this. But another interesting thing that you need to hear is that GNU is going to collapse if you remove DA. DA. It's not me. President Ramaphosa's party is one, one that brings the motion of no confidence in the capital city and they will have to think carefully the ANC nationally. President Ramaphosa has to think carefully what mandate they give to these local guys. Because if, you, if your capital city is going to be taken over by looting, local racial, racialist, uh, destructive policies, and um, advocated by President Ramaphosa's opponent at the national level, it is going to, re it's going to reflect badly on the country. Oh, my God. This is what the man is saying. We join a coalition and work with everybody, says the ANC. ANC, Tionat, and Susan Gentinales. So the list, the statement goes down. Down and down and down and down and down and down and down. God, in the English, all good things. This guy here, he's saying, Wey. you remove us, it's the end of the ANC, it's the end of the GNU. Well, I don't know if that's the truth. I just don't know. Maybe you do. I mean, I'm here, I'm here, I mean. uh, why, when DA is affected by these matters, they quickly remind Rama, they quickly write, to Ramaphosa telling Ramaphosa why does the DA sorry guys have so much confidence in Ramaphosa that any small and thing Ramaphosa Ramaphosa it says something about the trust and the relationship they have with Ramaphosa I'm telling you why a small and thing Ra do you remember during even during the the look the the, the, the Houting negotiations do you remember that they were the first ones to say that if they don't get the what they want, Ramaphosa is going to discipline ooh, the premier Sakhauteng, Panyazalisuf. Do you remember them saying that? Yeah, 
Because according to them, Ramaphosa is the most trusted person who is able to deal and articulate anything that they want. So I'm saying to say, I'm asking that to say, hmm, why do these people have so much trust on Ramaphosa? So I'll answer the ask in the comment section below.